Sup y'all, we are back for another reaction. This is one I'm pretty fucking excited about. Cause like horror, horror movies, horror games, horror anything is like one of my favorite things in the entire world. Especially horror movies. I am a horror movie buff. It takes a lot to scare me watching a horror movie. The last one that really scared me at all was The Conjuring. Cause after I watched that I had to get ice cream and I was like fuck. That was fucking scary. But usually things don't scare me that much. Like, uh, gore definitely doesn't scare me. It usually makes me laugh. I remember my boyfriend and me going to see Hostel 2 in the movie theaters when I was 16. And when that guy got his uh, penis cut off and fed to the dogs. And he was gushing blood. And I was just laughing. And, and my boyfriend at the time was like, oh. And I was like laughing so fucking loud. So that's how I feel about gore. Um, so movies like that don't scare me. The only ones that do scare me are paranormal movies because even though I don't believe in an afterlife, I believe in demons and ghosts for some reason. I guess because I was raised Catholic and I remember when I was six years old and I watched The Exorcist for the first time and my dad was like, you know, that can really happen to you. And then I got obsessed and scared to death of demon possession. So demons, demons get me. So I mean that explains why Conjuring was scary to me. Alright, that's way too much information about my life. Y'all probably don't give a shit. Okay. I mean, you might. I don't know. I don't know why you would. Here They Lie. That's the name of this trailer. I have no clue what it is, really, except for that it's a horror game for a PS4. And I am fucking excited. I love horror games. Even though when I'm playing a horror game, it's different than watching a horror movie, you know, or a trailer or watching someone else play. Because that's not scary, but whenever things are popping out at you while you're walking, because it's simulated, but it's you're walking. It's like going to a haunted house. Like, that's a different feeling than watching a horror movie. It's scary. I jump. I get scared. But I still love the fuck out of them. I love them so much. So here we go. Here they lie. Alcohol, blood, partial nudity, sexual themes. Basically sounds fucking awesome already. It's a VR game. <laughs> There's Fuck a that. VR horror game. Fuck that. Beating. Your own body quivering. How many different ways are there to lose yourself? Hmm. Depends how you mean. Honestly, I don't know if I could do a VR horror game. It would be so scary. Everything runs downhill here. If you go deep enough, but it looks the wonderful city though. It's a city. It all feels so alive. Look at this beautiful. So vibrant. Oh my god. But what does it mean? This is so creepy in what such a cool for? way. Look at these dog people. I waited on the platform for the train to take me home, but it never came. This is some creepy demon shit. Oh my god, there is no way I could play this on a VR. I don't have a VR luck. Sometimes luckily. The darkness is there. I wanna actually get one really bad. Here they lie. October 13th, 2016. So it's already out? So. To be honest, I didn't, I didn't think it was already out. But it says it says it is, but I don't know. Either way, that's fucking terrifying. If I get a VR, I'm gonna get Robinson, because that one looked really fucking cool. It didn't really tell me anything so far. I saw dinosaurs. That's enough. And I'd be willing to play something like this with like a face cam so that y'all could see my reaction if I got a VR and the equipment needed for setting all that shit up. Possibly some help. I'll look up some tutorials for how to do all that, but 
again, money is the issue there, but yeah, I'd be willing to try it for y'all. I don't know that I'd get more than one session in because that looks scary as shit. That looks like some demon ass fucking crap. That's what that looks like. And visually, just seeing that, I don't know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I would probably scream. I might even cry. I might even lie. Like, you guys haven't seen me. Like, I, I am the hugest horror buff, but. Throw me into a haunted house, even one of those fake ones where the, where the bad guys are obviously in costumes. I will run you over. I will scream. I will cry. I rant. My boyfriend. Uh, I don't have a boyfriend right now. I'm single. But at the time, my boyfriend and me were going to that, to one of the haunted corn mazes here. And like, uh, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre guy popped out of the bushes. I threw my boyfriend into the chainsaw and ran. So, the moral of the story is, don't date me. <laughs> and, I don't mess with that shit. I was out of there. I threw him right into the chainsaw. Luckily, it was a fake chainsaw, obviously. Luckily. <laughs> and yeah. Then I ran through the corn maze, out the wall, and the chainsaw guy had to take his mask off and be like, hey, hey, calm down, it's not real. Cause I was gonna run home, I swear to fucking god. But yeah. So I can watch horror movies all day long, literally, I have, but I don't fuck with that shit in my face, hell no. I don't fuck with any kind of shit in my face, just saying. Alright. Like, comment, subscribe, share, send in recommendations. Thank you guys so much for all of the subscribers, the support. Y'all are freaking amazing. I love y'all. Peace out.